Hi, I'm Joe Wren. Two teens are under arrest in connection with the November Morgantown murder. Okay, one stabbed and one shot, but they're both alive still? And they don't know who it was that came in and shot him? That's the 911 call shortly after an 84-year-old Morgantown man was murdered and his wife wounded after two teens allegedly invaded the couple's home and shot them in November. Prosecutors filed charges in Nashville today against 17-year-old Benny Reed and his younger brother, as mentioned in the probable cause affidavit. One of the big breaks was uh, the discovery of fingerprint evidence within the Voland home. Um, one of those fingerprints, uh, according to the probable cause affidavit, indicated that uh, it was matched the suspect, Benny Reed. The younger suspect told police that he and his brother had gone to the Volans' home to steal alcohol. The brothers lived just about a mile away from their elderly victims. The older brother told police he was intoxicated at the time of the attack and doesn't know why he went to the Volans' home in the first place. I think this will ease, the, and I know there's a lot of tension in Brown County community. This is a very unusual for a community like ours to have something like this happen, but... Uh, the world's coming to us in, in this remote little valley. A new report from Bloomington Police Department says the individual shot at the downtown Bloomington bus terminal on Wednesday is the one who made the 911 call describing a man threatening to kill the police. Officer John Coleman was the first officer to respond. He's a 33-year veteran of the Bloomington Police Department and the one who shot the 16-year-old male after he charged the officer with a knife. The injuries are not life-threatening. Eight witnesses say the report is consistent to what they saw. Preliminary indications do not reveal any violation of department policy. Another mix of freezing rain, sleet and snow is on its way. A winter weather advisory remains in effect from midnight tonight to 7 p.m. Saturday. Ice accumulations around a tenth of an inch and snowfall amounts of one to three inches are possible. Here's your weather forecast then for tomorrow. Cloudy with an 80% chance of light freezing rain and snow. Highs in the lower 30s tomorrow night. Partly cloudy. Lows around 17. And then in your five-day forecast, partly cloudy on Sunday with highs around 31. Then a slight chance of snow and rain back in the forecast Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. 18 the high on Tuesday. Overnight lows and the single digits the rest of the week. Negative six on Thursday. For WTIU News, I'm Joe Wren.